right? We are the Hebrew Israelites. Out here to preach the downfall of America. What is a bitch you call America? And the teaching of these people on this side, the 12 tribe side, man. Are uh, uh, the people that, uh, that the Lord has come back to save, man. It's not everybody, man. of them constantly printing money and to uh, create this illusion that America is going to keep going on. But he has an illusion when he creates the trick. After a while, the next one gets duplicated. And other, other magicians uh, take that on. And after a while, guess what? It's revealed. Okay? Because he can only keep that same illusion for a little while, man. You know? So right now, that illusion is, is, is coming to this domain right now, man. It's no way everything's about to get in. Reality is about to set in, man. You niggas about to find out, man, that your little plans and everything that you've been making in America is about to end, man. That dream is over with, man. It's, that, that dream is about to become a fucking nightmare, man. All right? You know, because you're not supposed to be fucking planning, man. And that's the difference between a man and women, man. Women make plans for things, man. We don't supposed to be planning. We're supposed to say, Lord, will it? The heavens is, a, is, a, is iron unto your prayers, man. It's bouncing off, man, like a fucking rubber ball, man. He's not hearing that. Okay? And plus, you're not holding up to the statute of laws and commandments that the Lord has set forth by me. I was in the meetings the other day. Um, how our people went off so, man, so corruptly, man. We are, we are, we are definitely them same people, man. Because we study going off the statute of laws and commandments of the Lord, man. You're not adhering to what he has already laid the foundation to laid the ground rules, man. Israel, Israel is at a company with him. You can't go off these heathen ass nations and what they fucking do and what they follow, man. Every fucking abomination of the food, man. They, they can think of they fucking they fucking indulge in that. They hit up take right the fucking right behind. Indulging in that same shit, man. And these fake ass, fraudulent ass feast days. But you don't want to hold the feast days that's in the scriptures, man, that the Lord told his people. Right. Which, my, which my son had brought out a while back, man. You can't beat the Lord at nothing, man. You can't beat the Lord at party. You can't beat the Lord at judgment. You can't beat the Lord at no thing, man. You can't pick no woman that you think is good for you, man. The Lord, man. you got to make fun of the the Lord in all things, man. The Lord is the one that lays the ground rules, man. And us as Israelites, man, as men of the Lord, man, this is what we follow, man. Give me uh, James uh, 3 and 14. Drop that. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, so I, I saw it before. before. Uh, I, so, we, we basically hastening the 
day that the Lord has set forth, man. That day has already been set forth. The Lord has already executed judgment. It's already sealed in spirit in the spiritual realm. Guess what? The only thing needs to happen now is it manifests in the physical realm, man. Which is happening right now, man. You see earthquakes, Matthew 25, man. You see earthquakes in diverse places. And rumors and rumors, wars and rumors of wars. Man, since since we've been on the earth, man, it's been that. Esau has the easiest, he has this kingdom, and he's been fighting every single day. Your bluff is being called, man. Myself, I like I said, my, but me myself, I had a son that was raised by his mother. He wanted to go. He said, he that teaches his son, grieve he that teaches his son, basically teaches his son in the statute of laws and commandments of the Lord, grieveth the enemy. Right, grieveth the enemy how, man? 
because you're supposed to let this man know, you let your children know, look man, this dude is not for you. Even though we're here in a captivity, you're, told, you're supposed to uphold his law, and you do the best you can, man, you get you a, you get you a little bucket ass job, and you go do your job to the best of your ability. Because Lord said what, man, do all things, man, to the glory of him. Even if you're on wicked ass Esau's job, you do your job to the best of your ability, man. You don't, you don't do all things, man, without murmuring. Okay, your job wicked. Do your job to the best of your ability, man, because you're giving the, you're giving the most high glory. Because nine times out of 10, the people at your job know that you're different, man. Plus, you represent your whole shop, man, while you at that job. Okay? So you do that job, man, to the best of your own murmur. Oh, man, I ain't finna do that shit. I'm at, at my job, man, I see niggas, man, can't even handle the job, man. Actually, just get up and walk out. Now, that's some nigga shit. Guess what, what, what's your bill? Your bills ain't gonna get up and walk out. Your bills gonna keep fucking coming, man. You need that paycheck. Okay? All right? He that teaches his son grieveth the enemy. And before his friends, he shall rejoice of him. Right? Before his friends, because his friends will see your son. Like, man, that, that, that dude raised him. By the way, this is my son. I, like I said, man, I, I, I have nothing, no, nothing bad to say about my, my son. Hey, he's in this truth. I, I, I presented it to him. He grasped on to it, man. He okay, he know he, he's not. No, he's not perfect, but he. laws and commandments of the Lord. And he's grabbed the reins and he's, he's putting forth the, um, he's putting his hand to the plow. So he knows this white man is his enemy. He works a job. He knows how to conduct himself at work. At work. Holy stop him, he knows how to conduct himself, man. Day to day, he wake up in the morning, man, pray, pray to the Lord. Lord willing, I do this. Lord willing, I do that. Like the, the toilet bowl with it, this motherfucking place is made to fucking suck the wind. It's like a whirlwind. You get too close to that, that, that top of that, 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 that uh, tornado, it sucks you fucking in, man. And guess what? Before you, you get into the middle part of that, you cannot get out, man. You know, and you don't want that. You don't want the Lord to turn you over to a reprobated spirit, man. All right. No, no. Brother was mentioning a, a tornado. Speaking of tornadoes, man, the Lord just hit the hit the map. Right? Yeah. 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 Is um is a is a martial law and these race riots, man, which is coming. I've been I've been on a book that I have bought a while back. I just back on the read it up. We don't have enough to bring out. It says two nations, black and white, separate, hostile, and unequal. Cause that's exactly what this place is, man. It's separate, 
hostile and unequal. There is no equality in America. But you got our fucking coon ass people. Every time some type of unrest happens, man, we want to go out and fight. But you got crap that you know. Look, man, we know we know it ain't equal. We know y'all are. We know we want to go out and adjust the end. We want to go sell out, nigga. Because the niggas who want to go march and all that, them niggas know that we treated wrong, man. But you know, Esau got their ass on the payroll, man. They, they took that fucking Judas purse. So them fuckers gonna get a recompense, man. Man, the Lord is gonna deal with them, man. But we, we, we as men of the Lord, I had to come out and prophesy, man, the downfall of this place, man. This place is coming down to hell in the handbag, man. That's right. All right? Read that off, brother. Gun. Verse 15. It's like James 4 and 15. For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live. And do this or that. That's right. That's what your soul all conversations be for you. From in the morning when you wake up, you pray, thank you, y'all shy, for giving you thank you, how about shit, y'all shy, man, for giving you life, man, and life to know the truth. Not just life here, because you, you don't regard this life as shit, man. Because in America, guess what? It's it's taught to you for you to regard your life, man. Love your life. Man, fuck this life, man. Fuck this life if, if you ain't got this truth. If you don't have the truth, man, fuck your life, bro. That's right. Because if you're not adhering to these statute laws and commandments, man, you ain't shit, man. Which we are adhering to them, and we ain't shit. Yeah, and you know what? Even if you're in the truth, man, the scriptures say, uh, if you don't hate your life, you you, shall, you can't be God, yeah, I'm trying to get God. that now, brother. So go ahead and speak, brother. You know? Hey, man, hey, so... You can't you can't get too caught up in your own your own damn life, man. Oh shit, I, man, that's a spirit. I oh, got it right up here. This is Matthew 6 and 25. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life that ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Yeah, because you know what people get caught up in, you know what I'm saying, trying to trying to deliver their own self, man. Gone. You know? And you know this world, hey, that's how this world is, is made, man. You know, for you you always trying to get up, be on stay on the head of the game, man. But we in a spiritual time, man, you know? We're in a spiritual time, so that's why the scriptures say, wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen that heart. Right, you know? Hey, matter of fact, and, and these little philosophies that America have, basically they're, bla they're blasphemous, man. Because they, they, they got a saying in the world, they say what? Uh, they say keeping up with the Joneses, man. Because if you see your neighbor get a new car, what do, basically what you go, you go out and try to go get you a new car. You know, you see him getting lawn care services, you go out and try to get you lawn care services. You know what I'm saying? Everything is, 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 is envy from another, man. And that keeps you whirlwind in this in this society. All right? I'm gonna start at the top again. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, that ye shall eat what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor get for your body. What ye shall put on is not the life uh, is not the life more than meat, or the body more than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air that soweth not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns. Yet the heavenly Father feedeth, feedeth them, feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? That's all. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. That's what we're talking about, the birds and uh, everything that flies, because they don't, I think they're the only creatures that don't store food. They don't, they're the only other type of bird. Go out for their food. Yeah. Right? The birds live by uh live for today, motherfucker tomorrow. Yeah. That's what the birds live by, man. Right. Nope. All right. this this planet and shit. You got I thought I was leaving to him, but I was really walking right into his trash truck. Right. So, you know, you so that's why you gotta make sure you know, I'm not doing everything I'm supposed to do. Right. It's more you can be like, dang, I haven't studied since I don't know all the time. When was the last time I watched the video? When was the last time I did this? When was the last time I did that? Shit, I'm like, I'm, I'm there now, almost back in the world. You know, 
so you know you gotta examine yourself a lot. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, 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 man. Hey, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, this, what, what is that scripture? Uh, uh, exactly. use, uh, use diligence to show that calling and election. Yeah, show that. And part of that diligence is studying, getting, getting into the uh, history. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Getting into prophecy. Well, basically, more, more than anything, prophecy, man. We're in a time of prophecy. Right. Okay? But, you know, ain't nothing wrong with going back into the history. I found myself recently, you know, going going back into the history, brushing up, man. To brushing up on all the kingdoms, man. You know, uh, from Babylon up until now. You know? That's just something I personally want to do, you know? And history is good, man, because it's basically, history basically does repeat itself, man. Esau can't be no more than what he came from, man. He came from Rape Rock, you know, the scriptures. He's a fucking devil back then, man. He's not gonna change it. What, what is the world saying? Let me don't change his spots, man. He's still the fucking same devil, man. They besieged the city when they when they when they sacked Jerusalem. They besieged the city back then, man. So they gotta do that right. They gotta do that over again, man. The scripture says nothing new up under the sun. If it's been done again, not before, it's gonna happen again. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's a whole row of new police trucks. And those are new, bro. We've been down out here for a couple of months, bro, for about a month, so those, those are new trucks. I don't think they put the uh, I don't think they put the lights on them yet. But I think they stopped. They stopped putting the lights on the inside, on the top now. Bro, all they gotta do is put uh, the gray East, East Chicago PD on the side. Yeah, yeah, gone, gone. And that's a uh, that's a graphic. That's a graphic that you can come and just stick on there, man. You can fill off.
they are going to college to learn the ways of Esau, man. And his books. That's not a blessing. The blessing is keeping the statue law, being, being, uh, being brought up in this truth, man, or listening, or being able to listen to the men of the Lord. Find it. Yeah, I got it. Go ahead, go ahead. This is Jeremiah 51, verse 58. It says, Thus said the Lord of hosts, it says, The border walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken, and her high gates shall be burnt with, with fire, and the people shall labor in vain, God. and block and fire, and they shall be with, with Right? Read that over here. It says, uh, this is, uh, verse 58. It says, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the border walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken. <laughs> the walls gonna be utterly bro broken. But you know what that's talking about, man? That's that's basically talking about uh, uh, people gonna bring war to America. Man. That's basically talking about them missiles penetrating them. Uh, the um, the um, yeah, the, the uh, what is it? America's, America's philosophy for the for the poor man, his his philosophy is what? Work hard to get a good job. Which really that's not the philosophy of America. The philosophy of America is go to school, learn that bullshit, and get a good job for, for you, you, you work less and you get paid more. But a man that just go out and just work and just go get the job, sign an application, go get the job, guess what? He's stuck in that overtime like the brother said. They work his fucking back. Then you, you got a boss that's fucking 25. Yeah, man. 25, bro, stressing straight out of college. Then you 40 some years old, busting your ass. This fucking young snot nosed motherfucker coming here making fucking six figures, man. But why? Because he's on the team, but he's on, he done went to school and got indoctrinated with that shit. That, that bullshit. He's, he's, part of the, he's part of the squad. Well, he may be a Freemason or oh, something. Oh, yeah, over you know, in one of those societies or something. You know, because they look upon that, man. Yeah. You think about these things, you know, that shit on their car, man. And the police don't give a fuck about that. So, I've actually been in the car with people that were that were, had Masonic uh, emblems on the back of their car, man. You know, or, or, they, had, or, they, was, or they bought a new car and they didn't have it. So, my grandfather. Some little, little sign or whatever, and they're like, oh, 